I'm going to show you how to add the drag and drop digital activities to your Google Classroom and easily make an activity for each student. So here I have the weather one. You're going to go here and you are going to click to make a, a copy and add to your own drive. So I'm actually going to right click and copy link because otherwise it um, opens in Safari for me and I prefer Chrome. Um, so it's going to look like if it works in a second. Okay, make a copy. So you're going to click make a copy and then that will save it to your drive. Okay, so you can make a, your own copy and save to your drive. After that, you are going to go to Google Classroom. Also, so you don't have to remember that, I have a tutorial right here, how to assign on Google Classroom. So you can definitely check that out while you are uploading as well. So you're going to go to Classwork and Create assignment. Okay, so we're going to do weather sorting. You're going to go to add from your Google Drive. Now you've just added it to your Google Drive, so it should be in recents, but it, if it is not, you can search weather and it will show up for you. Okay, so click on the one you want and push add. Okay, now you're going to want to go right here. You don't want students to view. You don't want students to edit. You want to make a copy for each student. Okay, that part is important and it's so nice. It does it all for you right now. For all your students, it will make a copy. Okay, and then you go to assign. Okay, now you can see it is right here. You can view assignment. I've assigned it to two students, my other Google accounts. <laughs> Okay, so it's assigned to my students. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like um, in student view. Okay, so now I'm a student. I'm going to my classroom. I see there's a new assignment posted, and I can go right here to work on it. Okay, here's a practice. And um, you can see right here it is labeled with my name because you made a copy for each student. So now as the student, I drag and drop my answers for all the pictures. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and then now if I switch back to teacher mode, right, I'm a teacher again, I can check grade and I can go right here and I can see what my students have done. Okay, and she didn't have to submit it or anything. This is just live how it goes. And if you are doing this every day, um, you're gonna want to be able to switch it back. I'm gonna go click down to menu, and then I can get file, version history, see version history, and then I can go back here, and see how this is like reset. I can restore this version to be ready for the next day. I can also name this version reset. Okay, so now I can easily reset it so it is ready for the student to do the next day. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope these digital activities help your students.